Greetings adventures, Frost here. Today I wanted to make a video on one of my main gold farming methods that I use to get my epic mount, and that is the Maradon ghost mushroom farm. Now this map right here shows the ghost mushroom spawns. There is actually more spawns that I found when I started doing this than was on Wowhead. So the normal dots, the yellow dots are Wowhead spots and the red dots were the new ones that I found. So basically what you're gonna do is you start on either purple or orange side. I started on purple for this run. And as you can see, bam, I already got one ghost mushroom. Now ghost mushrooms on my server are, personal, are going for 80 silver to one gold, 20 silver about. And they've stayed there for about the past five or six days. So they don't seem to really move from that price. They stay pretty steady. And that's what makes this farm good in my opinion is that it's just consistent there's no competition because you're inside of an instance. The mushroom spawns are always there. I always get anywhere between five to eight mushrooms per run when I do this. And then you also kill turtles. So basically what you do is you start on purple or orange side, you go into the instance and you run through. So if you're starting on purple, you run through purple, you're collecting all the mushrooms on purple side. Then when you get into the center, you go to the turtles because you have to have a run be longer than 12 minutes. Otherwise you're gonna hit dungeon cap because you can only do five dungeon runs an hour. So that comes out to 12 minutes per run. So doing the turtles will make the run long enough that you can stay within dungeon cap and still collect as many mushrooms as possible in that time. And the turtles are actually really good to kill in terms of gold because you get a chance at finding a golden pearl. Golden pearls go anywhere between 10 to 20 gold each on my server and they drop out of the big mouth clams which the turtles drop but it's only about a 1% drop chance out of the big mouth clams so it's not a reliable farm for that it's just a nice bonus if you get lucky and you find one of those. However the turtles also drop a bunch of fender trash they drop their shells and scales and those will get you about one to two gold per run in vendor trash from those. And then on top of getting the six to eight mushrooms, that means you're getting anywhere between seven to 10 gold per run. And if you're doing five runs an hour, cause you can do one every 12 minutes, that comes out to about 30 to 45 gold an hour, depending on how lucky you get, stuff like that. And it can go higher if you get lucky and get a world drop off one of the turtles or if you get a golden pearl off the turtles but the good thing about this farm is just its consistency the main money maker is from the ghost mushrooms because you're if you just say you're getting a gold per because that's like the average at least on my server well that means you're getting anywhere between six to eight gold a run six to eight gold a run that comes out to 30 to eight, uh, 40 gold an hour just from the ghost mushrooms alone now you can potentially make a little bit more from the ghost mushrooms if you turn them into ghost dye. Uh, ghost dye is main, the main reagent it's used for, which ghost dye is being used right now to make the truth face vestments, which are for healers. But other than that, yeah, you just run through the uh, sides. You use blink to avoid mobs. You can use other, trink, uh, other things to speed up your run. It's like um, Skull of Impending Doom. I can use twice a run, which gives me a nice little movement speed bonus to get me through the instance faster. I use nifty stopwatch sometimes to try and speed up one run every 30 minutes. That one's not as often, but it still is nice. But yeah, and then these are the turtles I was talking about right here. They are a little bit annoying to do because on classic, they seem to reset. Like if you pull them too far away from their starting locations they reset just like an open world mob i'm not sure if this is a bug or not i submitted it as a bug and put a clip in the bug report but uh, it hasn't been changed over the last four days since i reported the bug and so i'm thinking it might not be a bug because they're yellow mobs i don't know any other reason why they would reset i've never had dungeon mobs reset normally you can pull an entire instance and they won't reset. So that's why you see me here continuing to wand this mob and trying to make it so that they don't evade. And if it wasn't for them evading, you could actually do these turtles in one pull, which would make it a little bit more efficient, save you a couple minutes. Well, that's okay. 
still good to do. You can use Blizzard or Flame Strike, Kona Cold, AE spam, it doesn't really matter. I like the Flame Strike, Kona Cold because it kills them faster, but either way works. Blizzard's a little bit safer. And then there you can see the Shell Fragments and the Scaly Tails. Those are what vendor for a decent amount, and then they drop these Big Mouth Clams right here, and that's what I was talking about. So then you're also getting Turtle Meat, and uh, zesty clam meat, which are both used for a quest actually. Alliance side, they have a quest to turn in those for cooking. So you can sell those on the neutral auction house if you're a horde, and you can make a little bit more money from them than if you were to sell them on the normal auction house. What I'm doing with mine is, I haven't leveled my cooking yet, but I plan on leveling up my cooking, and then I can use, cook all that meat and vendor the uh, made product. It's kind of like in first aid when you turn uh, cloth into bandages in first aid, they vendor for more than the cloth would normally. So I'm going to be cooking that meat and then vendoring the meat to get that extra vendor value. And again, you can also post on the neutral auction house and make a decent profit there too. And then there, I use the Skull of Impending Doom. Give me that little boost to get back into the mushroom area faster. And then there you can see I got a black pearl. Sadly, black pearls aren't worth as much as uh, golden pearls. Like, it vendors for 10 silver. And on my server, it auctions for about 11 to 12 silver. So I actually tend to just vendor any of the pearls that aren't golden pearls, because all the other pearls seem to go really close to vendor cost. Whereas golden pearls are actually worth a lot, which golden pearls are used for truth face vestments. And I know they're also used for the spell power enchant for your uh, weapon. I'm not sure if they're used for anything else, but those two things are already really big for increasing the value of an item. Now, uh, there are other classes that can do this. However, I would say really the only other classes that can do it efficiently are Druid and Rogue because they can stealth. Like mages, you would have to kill stuff if you weren't a mage or a Druid or a Rogue basically because Blink can get you past the groups that you can't just walk by. And then obviously stealth can also get you past those groups. So no other classes can really do this quite as efficiently. So that does keep the mushroom market from tanking, kind of. Let's see, that blink there is convenient. Now this spot's a little bit annoying. You can pull mobs a lot. You have to try and be really careful getting up on that edge. A mushroom can actually spawn right there on that edge that I just jumped off of. Now this mushroom, people think you can't get this one a lot, but you actually can. You don't even need blink. You just have to be really careful not to get too close to this lasher in the back. And you can get it. I swing around to the left of these mobs because I want to check to see if a mushroom spawned back there, which it didn't. And this is another pack where it's very easy to pull, so I always wait for my blink to get past this pack. And now the orange side is actually kind of harder than the purple side, so when you're going through the orange side, just 
be more aware because it's very easy to pull mobs and you can AOE them down, but like right now if I was to pull a mob, since I have no mana, I would die. Like there's no way I would be able to kill the mob. So you can either run around with full mana just in case you do pull mobs so that you're more likely to be able to take them. But if you do pull mobs, like I would say 20% of the time or so, you pull another pack. And if you pull another pack, then you're you're just dead. Especially these sisters right here, these dryads, the ones on purple side too. Any dryads, they're ranged, they hurt you. It's gonna be a rough fight if you pull those. But you can manage to get through the whole instance without pulling stuff. You just have to not mess up a blink or not try and squeeze past mobs that you should just wait for your blink for. Now this run I obviously did purple to turtles to orange side. Now at the end of this run, I'm gonna be walking out orange side, resetting the instance and doing it backwards. It's the same exact route, just backwards. And then you can just keep swapping back and forth. Orange start, purple start, purple start, orange start, like just back and forth, back and forth. And as long, and I ha as you can see, I have a timer here. I keep that timer there so that I can make sure that my runs are close to 12 minutes. Because if they're under 12 minutes, well then I know I'm gonna hit a small instance cap and I might have to wait like five minutes or so to get back into the dungeon. But generally, your runs are gonna be like slightly over 12 minutes. This one I started the timer a little bit late and as you can see, it just hit 11 minutes. Maybe I'll have to wait like two or three minutes after I do five runs for the dungeon cap to get back. But in general, you'll be perfectly fine as long as you don't get too far above. And that is the Maradon Mushroom Farm. I used this to get probably about 50% of the gold for my epic mount. I've been using it since to just collect some extra gold. I like to keep some ghost mushrooms in, on the auction house. I always like to be selling at least some because it's so easy to do this farm and it's just always uncontested. You know you can get however many mushrooms in X amount of time and it's quite easy. And then you also get a chance at a golden pearl for that nice little lottery ticket bonus. But, and then this run yielded me about one gold and 20 silver in vendor value, and then some other meat that I'm gonna be sending to my alt until I get cooking up. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you make gold to be able to get your epic mount. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all on Azeroth.